Hi everybody and welcome to an Upsa Daisy design tutorial. Today we are going to make the heartbreaker bow. This is what it will look like when you're done. So I've already cut out the three pieces that I need. I've got a clip for the back and then you're going to need some type of adhesive for it. I'm going to use hot glue today just because it's faster to dry and you'll be able to see the process from start to finish. You'll need to determine what adhesive works better for you and for the materials that you're putting together. So let's go ahead and get started. Got my silicone fingertips on so that I try not to burn myself. I'm going to start by taking the uh, bow part and we're going to fold it over and take the tabs and glue those into the middle. Now you notice on this design if I was to truly make it right to the middle that you can see the back of the tabs in the photo. I prefer to take my tabs almost to the middle that way I get a fuller bigger bow. So let me go ahead and put a little drop on the end. Be careful not too much you don't want it oozing everywhere. Let's go ahead and fold that over. Hold it for just a second let it dry. Do the other side. Do the same. Fold it. Let it dry. If I needed something to hold it while it was drying, I've got these cute little clips. Next we're going to attach the bow to the bow base. And this is called the heartbreaker bow because some will say it looks like a dog bone, but it's actually two hearts. So let's go ahead and attach our bow to our bow base. A little drop of glue on the back side. Again, don't want too much, don't want it oozing out. I'm going to attach it to the bow base. Hold it there, let it dry. Oops, kind of got my stuff stuck to everything here. Next, we'll want to take our bow band. Now, it kind of helps that there's a little extra glue there for me because it's holding that to the middle. Otherwise, I would put a little dot of glue on there. I'm going to flip this over, take my clip, run a little line of glue. I like to open up my clips. I find it easier for me to work with them that way. And I'm going to attach that to the back. Just press and hold. Then I'm going to use the little tabs off of my bow band to help secure the clip to the bow. Put a little drop of glue and you'll notice that there's a gap in here. So we want to try to gently feed that extra material through that gap and then we would do the same for the other side. If your glue has already dried you may need a little extra drop of glue to help secure that. Now our bow is complete. All you need to do now is put it on a bow card and you've got a beautiful little heartbreaker bow. Hopefully nobody breaks your heart. Thanks for joining us today.